What's up guys and welcome to the second tutorial of the series Creative Music for Video Games. Today we are going to get an introduction of Fruity Loops 12 and see how we can create something like this. So the first part is kinda happy epic moment, the second is more of a thriller sound since we have enemies nearby and the last part is for the battle situation. So in the last video we had a small overview of Ableton and created the music also and you can find a link in the description to that video, I recommend you to also check it since I talked about a few basic things about music for games that may interest you. So the idea of this series is to show you how to create 3 different drums and three different melodies with some similarities so they seem like the same music and then we are going to import them to Unity create a script to play the music according to the danger zones what does that mean? well that means that we have a safe area where the music is calm then if there are enemies nearby the music gets a bit more intense and then we enter in a danger or battle situation and the music changes again So let's just have a quick overview of Fruity Loops 12 and after you have opened it, this is what it looks like. And Fruity Loops is composed of several windows that you can move around as you can see and it's very useful if you have multiple screens. This is the channel rack and this is the playlist. You can press this button to show or hide the channel rack and this one to show the playlist. The channel rack represents the patterns and each pattern can have different instruments as you can see and different compositions they act like small portions of your music we can rename a pattern with F2 and we can add a new pattern with this plus sign the playlist is where we are going to create to compose our music you basically select a pattern and add to the playlist like this with mouse 1 now if you press play with a space key you only hear the pattern and that's because this little button is active and if you disable it and press play again you now can hear what is in the playlist you can make the pattern bigger or smaller like this and if you select this kick by pressing this green light we can hit Q on our keyboard and we can hear the C5 which is the natural state of this instrument but if you press with the right mouse and open piano roll you can see that the Q is the C5, Z is the C4 and I is the C3. So this means your keyboard represents almost 3 octaves and almost each key represents a note as you can see in this image. And this means also that you can either do your music in the piano roll view and easily go one note up or down or in the step sequencer by pressing this button. And by the way, you can remove notes with your right mouse click and Ctrl Z works like in Photoshop. It only goes back one time. So you have to use Ctrl Alt Z to go back several times. 
So I'm going to only use what Fruity Loops gives us, so everyone can be in the same level. But if you want to add a folder of samples, simply go to Options, File Settings, and by pressing on this folder icon, you can add a folder. And by the way, see this backup option? I really recommend you to set this to something like Occasionally. You can also find some great samples in the free sound site, but there are many more sites around the web that give samples for free. Ok, cool, let's get started and create a new file. This said, there are two distinct ways to start creating music for your game. Either start with the drums or with the melody. And in the last tutorial we started with the drums, but this tutorial we are going to start creating the melody. Ok, now, if you have an instrument in mind, you can come here and try to find it. I have picked the strings and dragged down the snare, like this. There are two distinct ways to get melodies into Fruity Loops, and I recommend you start with small and simple melodies, by the way. With 4 or 8 bars, try to avoid creating something with 3, 5 or 7 bars, at least in the beginning. And so, you can press right click on this instrument and select piano roll. And this window appear and you can start adding notes with the mouse left. Make them longer, move it around by holding mouse 1, delete with right click, select everything by holding control and pressing left click and duplicate by holding shift. Or you can press this circle, which is a record button, and say you want to record everything, and now when you press play, you will hear the metronome, and at 5 or 4, you can start recording. Those are the two distinct ways to get melodies into Fruit Loops. And I end up recording this, so after you are done recording your melody with your keyboard or with the digital piano that you have around, you can press the stop button and in the playlist you can add your pattern with mouse 1 and expand it like this. And now with the right click, let's open the piano roll and start editing our melody. Like we have seen before, make sure it's on beat, make sure you follow a pattern and so on. So, recommendations for creating your first melody. One is that you have the melody only plays every four bars, like the bottom two are doing, and they are two because I want my strings to have a more robust sound. And two, follow a pattern, as you can see the second melody has one, two, three notes, then one, two, three, four notes, and then one, two, three notes again, and again one, two, three, four notes. So that's a pattern. Three, Try to make the second part with higher notes, but don't go too high, that's a very basic tip to create a melody. 4. If you want to take to the next level, search for, for things like major chord, which is kinda happy and not so sad, at least most of the times. But if you want something sad, try minor chords. Or if you want something triumphant, victorious, search for dominant chords, or as well diminished chords for scary thriller music or even Arabic chords. And 5. Keep it simple at first and try, try, try by yourself. Ok, so after you have edited your first melody of your first instrument, I made a copy of this melody since I created that melody in drum 01 pattern and I want to create a new pattern so I press this plus sign and rename it with F2 to melody 01, which eventually later on becomes the string 01. And I recommend you to use patterns for each instrument, like the piano, the strings, the guitars, the bass. And use other patterns where you have your drum 01, drum 02, drum 03, and so on. So, the next thing is to select another instrument that goes well with our last one. And I pick the grand piano. And now we want to create a new melody with almost the same notes we used in our last instrument so things don't get too messy. And after a few minutes of playing around, I come up with something like this. Something that keeps the kinda happy, epic, more or less sad thing that is going on.
Ok, so after creating a pattern called Piano01, I created another one called Piano02 to show you how easy sometimes we can give a simple touch to our melody with some high notes on the piano or in other instruments. That's another basic trick to create a melody. So after having 16 bars of the first part of our music, I decided to start working on the drum 01 pattern. And we can go to packs in our left panel and in drum select a kick that you like and drop on top of the kick. So, and I don't want this music to be overly driven by drums, so I decided it will be some simple drums. And I replaced the snare with one from the packs also, and you can use a clap, a snare, bells, or something with an impact. And just a quick tip for you. If you click on the top of the snare, this window appears, and in the top right corner we can read track. Double click on that, and the mixer window shows up. And if this shows like this, I recommend you to click on the compact and select white too, so we can understand better what's going on. And those numbers represent a track, we can select an instrument to a respective track. We can also rename the fourth track to snare, since I know the snare is in the fourth track. And now in the right, where we can read slot 1, slot 2, is where we can add effects, like reverbs, equalizers, compressors, etc. And it's quite useful, so let's add one and press this arrow and add a fruity reverb too. And you can click these arrows to select a preset if you don't want to mess around with the parameters of the reverb too. If you want to lower the impact of the effect on the track, you can do it with this circle. And the green light allows us to turn on or off the effect on the track. I also added a delay, since I want to create this effect. Ok, and now I duplicated the drum 01 and created a clone, since I want to change a few things, but I want to keep the drum 01 as they are. And I rename it to drum 02, which I also duplicated to complete our 16 bars, of the calm situation where there is no enemies. Oh, and we also want this drum 02 to have also a bit more rhythm than the drum 01. And so I add a hat, something minimal, and I choose this one. We can also add a symbol in the beginning of our drum 02. And to show you how cool the mixer is, I replaced the clap and changed the track of the clap to the same track of the snare, so it has the same effect. And now this is it for the first part of our music, it's done. Now we can move on to the second part, where we're going to create the music for when the enemy is nearby. So we want to create something thrilling, and for that we can use the diminished chords that we have seen in the beginning. And I used those notes to create that thrilling sensation, so I gave it a shot and recorded this. I proceed to edit the melody again and make sure everything is on beat. And now I decide to use the same melody but a few notes higher like this. and complete the first 8 bars of the enemy nearby music. For the other part, I go into lower notes, basically using the same notes but with a different arrangement, and this time I didn't record, I just started adding notes, and that's to show you how versatile the workflow can be. Now we can duplicate or create a pattern for the strings 02 
and it's better to keep using the same notes as I have said before. And this time I want some lower notes on the string to follow along with the piano. And now, besides the lower notes of the strings, I want to use a second melody and it will be in higher notes so we can distinguish them. I also added the same notes to the piano, but in a lower tone and create this sound. And after that, I decided to work on the drums and create the drum 03. And this is the part where either you add more rhythm or you slow it down. I actually end up making small modifications compared to the drum 02. So let's just move on to the third and the last part of our music. Which is the part where we are in a battle and in my opinion it requires a bit more of rhythm. But that really depends on what you have in mind. So I'm gonna start with the piano and I only wanted to record something very simple and minimalist like this. And this is a method used frequently because it basically helps you to discover the notes and it gives us the producers an enormous variety and possibilities because as you are going to see in the second four bars I use the same notes but only make them longer and they only play every two steps instead of every four. And the next four bars, I do a mix of the first four bars, which play every four steps, with a mix of the second four bars, which plays every two steps, and come up with something that plays every four steps actually, but with different rhythm. And make a few higher notes in the middle. And the last part, I simply duplicated the third and that's it for the piano. I made just a few more adjustments and also added some piano lower notes. Which are the same notes as before, but the only difference is that they play in lower keys. And they only play in the beginning of each bar. on to the next instrument which is the strings and for the string 03 I use the same trick as I used in string 02 which is long lower notes and two notes that are higher and play at the same time as the higher notes of the piano I end up with something like this And that's it guys, for drums, you can create a new drums if you want, but that's our music in Fruity Loops, ready to be exported to Unity. And that's what we are going to do the next tutorial. We are going to create the scripts to play according to the danger zones. So don't miss the next tutorial, which is probably in the description, and subscribe for more weekly updates on game development. See you in the next tutorial.